Hello, welcome to part two, session four of Frequency Bone Sermon Music Connection Four, and talking about endurance. Now, endurance, as I brought up in the last video, there's a physical component, there's a mental component, there's an emotional component. And where we get our fuel to empower the vehicle of our physical body is just not physical. Our thought can have a physical manifestation, right? I can say, oh, I want to play something. I want to play, oh, I don't know, some little tune that's just coming to me. I had a thought about it or a feeling about it. It's not that I had all of that in my mind ready to go like that. I had a feeling and I also had a sense that I could put it into the horn in a musical form. But at first was a feeling or an energy. For every thought, there's an accompanying physiological response. For every feeling, there's an energy that's sensed and felt. And then thoughts can appear. So how this gets into us, how these energies move into us, um, there's an unconscious element. Energies are wafting through us all the time. And there's our conscious, deliberate intent to pick a particular subject and focus in on it. And depending on our attitude, which is a very big thing this summer about our musical approach to the basics. In fact, it's a very important thing no matter what I'm talking about. Depending on that attitude, we'll be able to draw more energy to ourselves and therefore enhance and strengthen our physical stamina. Isn't it incredible? You hear these stories about a mother seeing their child under a car or ready to be hit by a car, or being pinned under the car, and they actually then have enough physical strength to move the car? What's powering that strength? Something else. The intensity of that circumstance draws power to that person to be able to make them do incredible things. So, the mind is a big part of it. So, I like to look at all three of those, physical, emotional, and mental, all together. So, what are some very practical ways to start working on endurance? I personally think that a little bit at a time, that you gradually add on to on a regular, consistent basis is the basic principle of building stamina. Makes sense. I'm not the first one to ever come up with that idea. But sometimes it's very, very important to point out the obvious. Because a lot of times we think in a very linear type way, well, things go like this, and things go like this, and, and now I've done this much, so now I should be this much better, and yesterday I could play a long time, so today I should be able to play longer. <laughs> we all know it doesn't work that way. If we've been on a certain path of development, no matter what that path is, we know 
it isn't progressive in that kind of way. So our mental attitude needs to embrace each day on its own merit, which means accepting how we feel. Once we accept how we feel, we are at a very basic level of then being able to continue. So, people talk about long tones building up some strength and some embouchure holding power and some air support power. Could be. Sometimes, as I said in a couple of videos ago, if we can play things in a range that isn't too difficult, but extend our period of time and how long we can play in a range that's not strenuous for us, but extend how long we can play in that range, that also is a very good endurance thing. Play six or seven Bordonis in a row, or three, if you can't play seven. And if you can't play one all the way through, can you play the first line? So here we go, back to that very core statement. Find what you can do, and then gradually add on to it. And this has to do with range, this has to do with dynamic contrast, loud or soft. This has to do with flexibility, because oftentimes in performances, recitals or auditions, we're required to do a variety of things. And that is another kind of endurance. That is in the realms of how versatile can we be? How flexible can we be? Are we too stiff and then can't bend? Because part of endurance is being able to bend. So you might want to do things like exercise books or something with you, you can do some simple exercises to keep going. to exercise, it's very, very clear to me that there's articulation endurance, there's how long can you play very slow things endurance, there's flexibility that comes into it because you might be able to sit in a higher range for a long time. I can sit there for a pretty long time. And sometimes then dropping low. Now, is that an issue of endurance, flexibility, or strength? Contemplate that one for a little bit. 